another disappointing loss for the Giants as, you know, the Buffalo Bills hang on 14 to 9. The New York Giants had their opportunities in this game. They we didn't deserve this game nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? When I did my, you know, uh beginning of the season, you know, prediction I had us, you know, winning this game. This was a close game. Um all things considered, no Daniel Jones. Missing as many offensive linemen as we're missing. I think we're missing four in total. The Giants had their opportunities to win this game, and they blew it. No one to put it on and then. And you're going to look back at the biggest play being the play before halftime, where Tyrod Taylor apparently, it looked like he checked out of the, the play that they had and ran the ball with 14 seconds. And instead of kicking the field goal, you know, we, we run out of time. A field goal makes that a three, three a two-possession game. And in this particular situation, if you were to get that field goal, you don't need a field goal to actually win this game if things would have still went the way to do. Now I completely understand things do go differently, you know what I'm saying, throughout the course of the game, and it would have changed everything of the game. But the Giants had their opportunities to win this game. They just couldn't get it done. The defense played great. Defense came away with multiple um, turnovers. And it just wasn't enough. The offense, you know what I'm saying, couldn't get it done. Tyrod Taylor played okay. You know what I'm saying? They did some things differently to kind of keep him out of harm's way. The offensive line wasn't terrible tonight. You know what I'm saying? It's a couple, couple moments here and there that, you know, bad penalties and stuff like that. But it wasn't as worse as we have seen already. But it's just another game that the Giants just can't seem to win. We're now one in five. At what point do you just say tank? Our schedule gets easier, but we're not playing good right now. The Giants are playing terrible. This is this was a hard game. You know what I'm saying? This was a hard game. You know what I'm saying? The Giants just continue to not be able to score offensively. I believe the stat was 12, but you know, now that this is over, um, I think it's I think it's 12 or 13 straight uh, quarters in a row without an offensive touchdown, which is ridiculous. I don't know what we're doing up there. Like, you're going to you're gonna go back to the play of Tyrod Taylor, you know what I'm saying, and Dayball was chewing him out on the sidelines. Dayball is going to take responsibility for it, but a lot of sources were saying Tyrod Taylor checked out of that play. And it was just, you know, this is just another tough loss. This is a cherry on top of a shit cake that is the New York Giants 2023 season. And this team just continues to find new and inventive ways to lose every single week. And us Giant fans are just over it at this point. It's frustrating to watch this product where you have an offense that can't move the ball consistently, that can't score. Defense played well tonight. Like I said, the defense played well tonight. Um, Got multiple turnovers. Couldn't, couldn't take advantage of it. And it's just, it's a it's another tough loss for this Giants team. This season is already going by the wayside. I don't, we got, our schedule lightens up, but with how we're playing, I don't think we can beat anybody, to be honest with you. And, you know, maybe if we got this win, things could have turned around with how easy our schedule is about to be. But, you know, I don't know, man. It's, it's like I keep saying, it's going to get worse before it gets better, guys. One in five, we're sitting as one of the worst teams. And it's just, it's just been a, such a disappointing season for a season where a lot of us had high expectations. And why, like I said, why, like I continue, like I continue to say, why wouldn't we considering how well we played last year with the playoff win one in five sucks. This sucks. Like the play calling today, they did some things differently, but it just wasn't enough to get it done. Tyrod Taylor, 24 of 36, 200 yards. Saquon Barkley got it going towards the end, but he was ultimately stuffed at the end of the day. We need, it was good to have Saquon back too. But, you know, I just don't know where this team goes. Defensively, they played good enough to win. The offense, once again, shit the bed. Like, you know, the, whether, you know, it was the play calling or decision making, like I said, the pivotal play is going to be that the Giants are going to get criticized for is going to be that, that play before halftime. And I also don't agree with Dayball's play at the end of the game, uh, not going for it on fourth down and kicking the field goal. In my opinion, you go for it because even if you don't score a touchdown, 
If they score, they're still only down. You're still only down one score. So I mean that that's another questionable decision by Dayball. I just I I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's just this is a tough season, guys. And this season this season sucks. This Giants team blows right now, and it sucks, man. This this team is has just been a giant disappointment. Pun intended. So. But, you know, I appreciate everybody that continues to pop in here. You know what I'm saying? This was a good day for the channel. We're at 716 subscribers. Um, You guys are the best, man. For real, for real. I say that all the time, and I genuinely mean it. And we still got 14 people in here rocking with me. Appreciate you guys. Just hope that this team gets better. Because, like I said, this was a huge step down from last year where a lot of our expectations were super high. And, you know, now it's just been this season is one of the worst Giants teams I have ever seen. And statistically, it's showing because we just look, we're setting records with how terrible we are. This has been a huge step back. And there are a lot of things that Giants really need to take in consideration moving forward. Um, They need to get healthy, first of all. We need to, we need, now we got Saquon Barkley back. We need Andrew Thomas back in the worst way. And Daniel Jones has to come back because Tyrod played okay enough to get it done, but he's not the answer either. So, We'll see what happens, but you know the line, the offensive line gave up three sacks. You know what I'm saying? They weren't they weren't big yardage sacks because Tyrod Taylor was able to, you know what I'm saying, kind of kind of like get sacked for the minimum, but it was still three sacks. Our defensive line was able to get pressure today, but we weren't able to really get any sacks on Josh Allen. Now hats off to him; he's a very good quarterback when it comes to that. But you know. The Giants just weren't, they just weren't, didn't, couldn't find a way to get it done. The biggest thing, the, this is a disappointing game. We had our opportunities to win and we just could not do it. Giants didn't deserve to win this game, plain, plain and simple, and they didn't. 14, 14 and 9. Very winnable game against a really good team. They just couldn't do it. So they fall 1 and 5 in the season. The season is just on the brink. It gets lighter, but at this point, it's like, do you want to tank? You know what I'm saying? You guys, you guys let me know down in the comment section, what do you want Giants to do? Be competitive, win games, or just go ahead and think. You know what I'm saying? But thank you guys, man, for everything that you guys do, man, and for popping in, man. Appreciate you guys. Um, You guys are the best, for real, for real. Appreciate each and every one of you. But as always, guys, thank you for tuning in to the Ace Avenue. I am yours, truly the Ace. Adios.